Ace Queen. Let's hold, come on. Let's hold, come on. Yes, baby. Big fucking spot there. Woo! Let's go. Yes, we're back in this shit. Come on. Come on, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, you know that shit's awesome. Let's go. Um, yeah, we'll stick with min race. Okay, I'm getting small blind. You go with 30%. I think bigger's defensible. Interesting when I get raised here. I think I'm just going to jam. That sucks. It's a good river though. So, I mean, basically, the reason I ended up um, jamming is because I <laughs> like losing money. No, the reason that I ended up jamming is, um, and I do think calling is like very defensible. I think like a lot of people would like kind of skirt towards call. I wasn't sure like how much 5-6-2 was going to be in this range, to be honest. And I wasn't sure like, you know, I'm sure I'm sure it's in this range, but like there's two combos max. And so after 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 five six suited, there's ace five and ace six suited, which are I don't know, two combos for five ace five suited, um, and one combo for for ace six suited. So I just like I just like kind of took quick stock of like the suits that were on the board and and, and my ace of hearts, uh, which was kind of like I just looked at it, I was like, okay, there's three suits missing, so it's actually really tough for this player. Like, obviously, you get fives and sixes too, but it's actually really tough for this player to have the hands that beat me. Thirty-four. So, I mean, like, we just didn't roll high enough. I think this hand mixes to call. Ace queen, I would pure jam. This hand, I would mix. So, sort of tempting spot to just check call. Um, but I think check raising here is reasonable. Expect like 100% range C bet sort of answer for most people. I think this is like pretty high frequency check raise, otherwise, I'd use a randomizer. Um, I think this is close. Like, we have a lot of money in the middle um, prior to my shove. I'll pull this hand up afterwards. But I think this hand can mix to call, and like that's very defensible. Um, I basically think that like if I call, I get value bet by ace queen and ace king on the river, and I get folds, I get check back, checks back from like ace 10 and ace 9, which blows for my EV. Um, we didn't, we weren't, we weren't really trying to get it in, we were hoping for a fold, but of course once we get shoved on, we're just getting too good of a price here and we call it off. This is 15 bigs, so he opens, I have 15 big blinds, effective with this player. So we three bet. If he wants to run it, we run it. Hopefully he folds. He didn't want to fold. Fuck. Okay. My, I'm getting too good of a price. We call. This is just odds based call now. That's fine. It's a good flop for me. It's a bad flop for him. It's a good turn for me. It's a bad turn for him. I win. You lose. So let's go to the next one. So I mean, I got it in pretty bad, but again, 15 bigs, uh, button versus cutoff, very standard. Um, so we rolled 19 here. So it's gonna flat. Jordan so petty. I don't even know what I said earlier to be called petty, but I guess, I guess, Brick, you would know best. Turn's gonna be a mix. Flop wasn't a mix for me, not really. We rolled 21. Oh, I think I should just call. I think it's a mistake. I tried to be greedy, trying to see if I could squeeze out a call against a six. But the problem is I lose to Jack Nine. If this was an if this was a seven or an eight, I think this would be good. But I think when this is a nine, it's not good. Uh, I think if that's like a nine or a ten or a king, I think that that's just not a good raise. Uh, thirty bigs. Roll the seventy-five. Guess we're three bit call. I don't really like three bit calling here. I don't know why. It's, I feel like flatting it, but. We roll 75. We do what the randomizer says. I feel like I got my spideys going off being like, just flat, dude, just flat. But we roll a 75 when I have jacks. Like, you know, it's a three bit sometimes. <laughs> it's just the way it is. All right. Ace king and jacks. Come on, come on, come on. That's a good turn. Oh ho ho. Spidey sense was for, for nothing. 
Spidey sense is good for nothing. That was amazing. That was amazing. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. It's just what we needed. Perfect. It's perfect. Spidey sense can go to hell. Good old randomizer. Good on you, randomizer. Get me that pocket jacks. I had a little spice and so I was like, I don't know why I'm feeling it with these jacks, but I'm not feeling like I want to get this in. 94, eh? All right. I actually kind of like, I kind of hate this, um, but like, I think this hand's a 6% 3 bet, so I'm doing it anyway. Like, this hand's just like, if I get 4 bet jammed on, I think I'm gonna fold. And like, I kind of fucking hate that, like, I even like, I don't like 3 bet folding pairs here. Like, this seems fucking stupid. Like, but positionally, I'm not gonna stack off here with 9s. Um, against the way that I've seen this player play so far, so. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have a good one. Oh my lanta, do we have a good one. Oh my goodness. Good old randomizer. Randomizer's doing me some favors right now. Randomizer's doing me some favors right now. It's not like I think a pair of lines is like a big part of this range or anything. Just get jammed on by tens. Just get jammed on by jacks. Just get jammed. I'd rather get jammed on by jacks. <laughs> Just get jammed on by jacks or queens or something. Oh my god, I got counterfeit. That's so brutal. That's so brutal. Still got that value. I didn't get as much as I wanted. You know, we got that bad river. We didn't get that good river, so we had to get a little bit. Because I'm greedy as fuck. Oh, we had the aces too. Damn, I wish I would have bet the turn. Damn, I wish I would have bet the turn. Ooh. Why didn't I bet the turn? Why didn't I bet the turn? No, I mean, I think I like my turn check. My turn check's good, so that's why I didn't bet the turn. Um, this, is the way to, this is the way to check the turn. So, that's why I didn't check. Like, this, hand, this is the way to check the turn. The turn check's clean as fuck, so... It's just annoying when you see the aces. It's annoying when you see the aces because I might it might go bet jam and then a call. Um, but it, we get the money. We get all of it on every blank river. We just didn't get a blank river. Like we did, we don't get the money on a ten. We don't get the money on a seven. We don't get the money on a five. Mm. I'm to be honest. I might even get the money on a ten and a five. I mean, like I'm, I'm not getting the money on a seven because a ten is too big a part of both of our ranges. Like I have too many bluffs. Like I have ace ten suited, king ten suited. It's really hard for him to like pay off huge bets. Probably randomize this too. I have onboard suits, which makes it you know easier to bet. But I block a few floats. If I'm gonna randomize a turn, I think pure betting this is just stupid. I rolled too low. <clears throat> we rolled 23, so we're gonna mix check. Rolled an 85. I think I have busted clubs, basically. Like this hand is could go, it, it's not inconceivable that it goes check check and I win against like king queen of clubs or something. Like king queen of clubs is gonna ice me pure, but like, you know, I don't know, king eight of clubs. <clears throat> Where if I have like, um, if I have like some total high card variation, um, like eight, nine of clubs myself, then I lose everything and I bluff. So we can consult the mystical randomizer gods. We roll the one, uh, this hand doesn't mix the folds. So that just means I'm not gonna four bet. We're gonna call, this hand doesn't pure four bet. So, let me roll the one. Calling seems like the play. Oh man, pocket nines is making sets today, baby. Let's just try to fade the kings. Let's try to fade the kings. Let's hope we're up against the ace king. Uh, could give him rope, could check slam. He's gonna bet, so. I think we just make the call with the set. Definitely hoping to fade the pocket aces and pocket kings hands. They're definitely there, but you know, pocket aces and pocket kings is six combos in total and ace king's nine. So let's do some math. So hopefully we're up against ace king. We see the jam here, flush draw protection jam. That's what we were hoping for. The check means we might be up against the set a little bit more often, which sucks. Uh, draws brick. We're going to jam here. That doesn't seem like the sets. That seems more like the bluff catching part of the range. Could be queens, could be jacks, could be tens. Those hands won't call. <clears throat> All right, guys, the moment you've all been waiting for, Big Steeler, a.k.a. Birdie, has a bundle on bbcpoker.com. It's 100 bucks uh, per the usual bundle price and extraordinary value. Uh, Big Steeler is a seven-figure winner, someone who 
myself, Parker, lots of us, we've battled with um, extensively on the sit and go and to a lesser extent the tournament scene. But he is currently making waves in cash games. He's 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 a huge winner in two five, um, and he is battling at five ten ten twenty, and very rarely, but occasionally, shot taking at twenty five fifty. So the level of content, the way that this guy thinks, is, in my opinion, like at, at one of the highest levels. Um, you know, he's bridged all the formats successfully uh, for No Limit Hold'em, which is very difficult to do, and he's done that at a high level. So, you know, getting insights into how he thinks about solving poker problems, um, the variables that he emphasizes and prioritizes, how he studies, all of it is available for 100 bucks on bbcpoker.com. Head over there right now and go pick it up. Sand doesn't mix to defend on the flop, just folds. <clears throat> just jam. Side face. Come on, guys. Somebody go raise jam. We want to get 30 bigs in the middle. 30 bigs going in. Come on. Tutor, you got to open. Make it so much easier for me to get 30 bigs in the middle if Tutor opens. Tutor, come on. Don't do it, guys. No walking BBZ right now. There we go. Ishtar, just jam. Just take your 30 Bs. Take, take your 30 BB stack and just drop it in. Just drop it in, Ishtar. Make my day. Easiest thing in the world to get 30 bigs in like that. Just slam it. Ishtar drops it. Ishtar drops it. We got a time bank. Got a decision. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Come on. Oh, he's just not here. Oh, that's some bullshit. Got a three bet here. I don't think flat's the worst, but we are like almost 30 BB deep, so. <clears throat> it's not like we're at 20 or 15 or something. Come on, the screen name's BBZ. I bluff all the time. I bluff all day. Hoping for that king queen shove on the flop. Hoping for that king queen shove on the flop. That king jack jam on the flop. That king queen protection jam on the flop. <laughs> Let's go. Jack 10 of diamonds is scary. Let's go! Oh, brutal. Oh, that's brutal. That's so painful. Especially after the turn. Ah, oh, it's painful. The turn, the turn killed some outs, right? The turn killed some outs. So he felt really good on the turn. Um, but, you know, it's the game. It happens. So button cutoff, we're going to pure four bet this. This is not like, you know, under the gun button or something. Or like hijack under the gun. Like this is, from these positions, we're just going to raise four bet. So, you know, there's a chance this player's kings and we're out. And there's a chance this player's tens and we're fucking loving life. So let's hope for the, the loving life part. Obviously this player could also fold. Ace queen. Let's hold, come on. Let's hold, come on. Yes, baby. Big fucking spot there. Woo! Let's go. Yes, we're back in this shit. Come on. Come on, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, you know that shit's awesome. Let's go. Woo! 147 players left. Big deal. Half a million up top to first. Half a million to first. We want to win this shit. Let's go. Let's go. Fucking one tabling for fucking hours. Not trying to bust at 5 p.m. No, sir. No, sir. We hold with those jacks. Oh, shit. That was nice. Told you we needed to get a gift. That's not really a gift. We got to, you know, we lost a flip. We want to flip. We're back. We're back. We even have more than we had before. Hell yeah. <sighs> I think his hand makes this between call and fold. I don't think it makes this to four bet. We rolled a 79, so we're gonna call. This is a pretty close spot. I mean, like. I don't have many bluffs, so this hand's like a, definitely a candidate for turning into a bluff. And I rolled a, uh, I rolled a 60. So it's close. It's like... So I think this hand 40% bets the river? It's kind of a lot still. I mean... Part of the reason why it's a lot still is because I still have like 8-9 suited and things to bluff with. Like I have king x no kicker, so it's close. Like I probably still have like some queen jacks on the river. Like I probably have queen jack of spades, queen 10 of spades. So like, you know, king seven's close to as a bluff. Like it's not, you know, it's not like I have a good king or anything. So converting this hand to bluff on that river when clubs fill makes sense to me, but I don't have a blocker. Not that it's gonna be very easy to have a blocker with, with a pair of kings because it, it, it'll be impossible. I won't have any offsuit kings. 
um, that aren't two pair. Um, so this hand's going to mix the four bet. Um, we roll the 24, so we're going to call. I actually really would have preferred to just four, four bet pile this hand in pre flop, but we roll the 24. I'm not going to 2-bet this hand on the flop here. I have to stack that, so I'm just going to call. I think taking a shot at this is okay. I probably should have randomized for this, but I don't think it's bad. We're going to get some automatic folds from, you know, like the hands that I beat, for example. Boom! I love it! I fucking love it! I love it! I love this game. I love this game, especially when I'm winning chips. This game's so good when you're winning chips. This game's, you know, it's a good game when you're losing. <laughs> when you're losing chips, it's a good game. But when you're winning, this game's amazing. It's amazing. I hope Pocket Zero's got the stream up. I hope Pocket Zero's got the stream up. I hope you see that shit and you're like, oh, he didn't even randomize. No, I didn't. I just fucking took a shot at you. I was over it. You've been beating me up for too long. I just took a shot at you. I was just like, fuck this. This, is going, this isn't going well. He's beating me up too much. How do you like it? How do you like it? This kind of sucks because this player is kind of tight too, but. This hand's a 0% fold here, so. Kind of is what it is, I guess. Ape Style is coming through with the raid. Thank you, brother. Preach. Here we go, guys. Yeah, this player is tight, so I mean, like, I didn't feel great about this. Take a deuce, though. Eh, that's not a good enough card. This player was tight. But I just don't think, like, you know, min race folding ace jack suited to an 11 big blind reshove is, like, ever a thing. So, kind of sucks to make the call against a tighter player, but I'm sure the player could have nines. Ape Styles with the Mega Raid, let's go! Let's go! But, yeah, I mean, I could have told you that player was probably going to have me in trouble. I mean, it didn't, it didn't feel good, but it's just ten and a half bigs, man. It's ten and a half bigs and it's ace jack suited. Ace Jack suited. Like, is this player folding nines? Like, I don't think so. Eights? I don't think so. Ace Jack suited? I don't think so. King Queen suited? Maybe. This player's kind of tight. Maybe. Um, <clears throat> some, things, some things are possible. Uh, we rolled 41. Um, I guess we're not three betting. I thought this hand, like, you know, it's really, it's not like a high frequency play for me or anything. But. Alright, let's use randomizer again. I think this hand's gonna mix between call. And raise. Pretty tempting to just always raise on a board texture that's that dynamic, but. And I think check shove is like out of the question. Expect this player to be like mostly stripped of ace king when they check the turn. He's seeing a diamond's a cool trap to include, but feeling pretty good about my hand. Feeling pretty good about my hand and being back in it with the same stack I had a second ago. Let's go! Come get it. Oh, he had kings though. Oh fuck, I would've, check raise would've gotten him. Got dicked by the randomizer. Got dicked by the randomizer. Randomizer would've, if the randomizer would've let me check raise the flop. We rolled low, I think like top and bottom. Um, you know, bottom two pair, I'm gonna check raise more. Like on this board texture, I don't even know if that's good. But um, yeah, I'm still gonna go with it. Like bottom two pair, I'm probably gonna check raise more. Top two pair, I'm gonna check raise pure. Like this specific two pair, um, like top and bottom. I'm kind of more about mixing. Um, and so, like, I mixed it. I wasn't pure calling, but I mixed it. And we rolled call. Damn. Because it could have stacked them. Could have stacked them. What is this? This is, like, not even eight big blinds. Okay. Don't wake up with the real hand pocket zero. It's hold. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Boom. Love to see it. Love to see it. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Don't fuck up the chair, though. This is a nice chair right here, so I might not fucking hit it too hard, but that shit is awesome. Let's go. There we go. There we go. Send him this way. Get that Ape Styles run good. Got a call there with Ace Jack suited, I think. Yeah, thanks, bro. That dude's real tight, though, man. I mean, like, not... Like, I called, right? <laughs> so, like, I always call. But that guy is real tight, dude. <laughs> he's been real tight. Um... You know, like, we're on stream and everything. He can see that he's been, that I think he's real tight. You're real fucking tight, bro. Go to bbzpoker.com, get the charts. Fix your pre-flop strategy. You're too nitty. Put in some more money. This dude's, I think this dude's got it, guys. I'm telling, I'm telling, I'm telling you, I think this dude's got it. Value Mart, if you got a bluff here, you know, I'm proud of you. If you got a bluff, Value Mart, I'm proud of you. Let's, let's see, we see, we get to see it? No, we don't get to see it. That's the end of it. That's the end of it.
All right, guys. Thank you very much. Um, oh, yeah, I can close this out. And, like, I can just fucking throw that fucking deuce's hand up. I mean, like, I don't even think it's been... I think it's been ages since I used ICMizer, but that's just going to be the fastest program to tackle that spot, I think. So we've made day two. Will I be back for day three? If someone's going to ask me that. Of course I'm coming back for day three. Of course I'm coming back for day three. Come back to win this shit. There's fucking deuces, okay? Like, I'm not crazy. There's deuces, okay? It's fucking massively profitable to jam deuces. Like, you know... I thought it was a call. Like, I didn't, I was pretty, you know, I was like, pretty sure it's good. But, you know, people, are, you know, they're like, when you, when someone else says, like, I think it's a fault, it's like, all right, fuck, maybe you're right. Because if I do something and then you criticize it, like, I already did it, so you already know what I think. <laughs> so if you disagree, I assume you're right. But yeah, you know, deuces is pure jam. We're good. Um, now, this is without ICM, so this doesn't, like, you know, I mean, we could make it a final table or something, but that's going to be like you know way too much ICM, right? So that's way too much ICM. So it's just like it's. Like, I think it's a call. Like I don't, I don't have any reason to think it's not a call. So Deuces was a jam there. We're good. We made money. We made chips. It's 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 we, we go with it. Um, all right. So much love. Thank you very much, people. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, so, you know, follow all the BBC crew. I love you guys. I love everybody. I'm glad everything's going so well. I'm having a great time. Uh, it's, it's a cool to be doing all this shit and it's great to have everybody here. So thank you. And I uh, will see a bunch of you tomorrow. The rest of you are going to be on the ape styles or the Yargo stream tomorrow. So peace. Bye.